Thanks for staying with us. So this morning we're discussing leadership, recipe for leadership, you know. So we've been talking about, there's a series going on recipe. Last week we did recipe for love. This week we're talking very briefly <coughs> about the recipe for leadership, mm -hmm. you know. Um, everybody believes that they know what a leader should be mm -hmm. or who a leader should be. Everybody has a definition for who a leader is. But what are those various recipes that we desire? What are those the recipes we think our leaders should have? And that's <clears> going to be our, 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 our brief conversation today on the recipes for leadership. Maran, would you like to start? Oh, yes. So when we talk about recipe, we are talking about ingredients, right? Yes. Yeah. So for me, I put it this way. So we, um, a leader has to have uh, a tablespoon of, no, a spoonful of selflessness. Mm -hmm. And I took that from the last story you took about the governor of Anambra State, where mm -hmm. he said that selfless people should come, you know, and um, offer their services. You have to be selfless. You know that you're coming to serve people. Sometimes this, being a leader can be a thankless job, but you understand that you're doing it for the bigger picture, for the interest of everyone else. So you'll be able to, you have to be able to put yourself aside for that. Um, you should be able to have a an inch of innovation. Mm. Again, the, the, the governor yeah. in question, yeah. this is an innovative idea. Yeah. You have to come up with fresh ideas, new ways mm. of doing things better. Um, an ounce of ownership. Mm. When things go right, when things go wrong, you should be able to own it. Mm. Um, the box stops at your table. That conversation of, is the, is the what do we hear every time? Is the special special kabah? Is the these people oh, that yeah, did, yeah, did, yeah. no? It is me. I was supposed it's to be corruption in fighting of back. This. Yes, mm. it, it's, I was. I'm the one. You know, everything stops at my table, and I take ownership and I take responsibility for what okay. happens. So I think. So many have you given us now? I think I've given you three. three. Okay, so yes. name, 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 I do three also. <laughs> it was fine. Three. Or how many you have? Recently, <laughs> I was talking to my daughter about leadership because they picked prefects from primary four and they did not pick her. And so she came and said, ah, Mommy, do you think I'm not qualified to be a prefect? And I said, okay, a lot of things I see that you do just with your brother. So it is everybody's goal to share the success. Share it. As a leader, if you do things together, it doesn't matter that you do all. Just that your brother was standing and saying, well done, well done, well done. It's both of you who do it. So don't deny the person their credit when you do something together or when you're supposed to work in, in, as a team. It is leadership to be able to say, as a team, we did this together and give people their credit. It doesn't di diminish mm. what your contribution yeah. was mm. at all. It's also leadership on the part of that follower to recognize what you led them to be able to achieve. Yeah. So even if they don't say, don't force it, do your part. So I, I've been, I'm going to have to mentor her I love that advice. That's, that's, that's a nice recipe. Awesome. Awesome. Then that's I also a nice told recipe. her. Yeah. So I told her also. <laughs> it's a nice recipe. recipe. Yeah. It's a recipe. Yeah. Yeah. It's a recipe. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's a recipe. Yeah. Okay. ingredient. The second ingredient <laughs> would be. Um, <laughs> um, what, 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 okay. Having a shed, living with a shadow. Mm. So I. Planning. Uh, planning. And I told her, I said, if you're a Muslim, you're someone who must learn by your way of life to live by a shadow. Because as a Muslim, you have five daily prayers that you know, already are on the shadow. And so you learn as your way of life. When you grow as an adult, it will be easy for you to always keep to shadow and remember your words when you give them. So that's one of the recipes a leader must have. When you give your word, you cannot just relax and say, oh, I got carried away with other things because you know, it would be made to remember naturally. So I kept trying to explain. So I said, I said that's why I can sleep over time. Mm. I want to oversleep, but I can't because I'm naturally wired that way growing up the way I was mm. raised. So, you know, and I'm trying to use that to continue to teach her. So those are the two recipes that I have. <laughs> okay. All right. And what are your own recipes? <laughs> you have so cut like hundreds. Let, oh, please. <laughs> Calm down. So uh, let me borrow from Miriam's uh, ingredients yeah. that she mentioned. So I would say a leader should have one and a half cups mm -hmm. of integrity. Okay. Mm. What you say is what you do. Yes. What you do is what you say. Yes. You should not be caught saying something else and doing something else. Mm -hmm. A leader board. must stand out yes. in terms of your word being your bond. Yes. Very important. Uh, the second recipe, it's uh, two cups of walking the talk. So we do a lot of talking in this part <laughs> of the world. 
but when it comes to action, we mm. are lacking. We are absent. So a leader should, as far as I'm concerned, even learn to talk less and do more. Let mm. your actions show. Uba Marwa. Yeah, yeah, model. When you're telling somebody... You're already having leaders. Who? Yeah. They are seeing model them. it. Do the work. Do more of but the work. And you must be proactive. A leader is solution-oriented. You are not waiting for something to happen and then you start blaming mm -hmm. and start thinking, oh, it wasn't me or it's somebody else. You should take responsibility. Yeah. Now, the last recipe I have, mm -hmm. a leader must learn how to organize and harness other people's potentials. Yes. You don't necessarily have to be the one to do the work, but you must be able to identify talent and use them to the best of their ability. There's a leader, um, I, um, there's a quote I saw recently when I was doing something on leadership, and it says, you can achieve anything as long as you're not bothered about who gets the credit. Mm. Mariah is one example of a leader. Okay. Mariah knows how to pinch me and I am jumping on this seat. <laughs> she knows how to whine Maryam and Maryam is speaking English. She knows how to get Nima to <laughs> almost remove her hijab <laughs> on the show. She knows our gifts, our talents, yeah. where we function best, and she pushes us, and she doesn't mind who gets the credit. And she does it silently. A leader <laughs> must not mind who gets oh. the credit. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> thank you oh what? Okay. okay, so recipe, I have three recipes. Okay. So she started with three. Number one, daring. Mm. Especially in Nigeria, you must be daring to challenge the status quo. Yeah. Things that we have, oh, this is the constitution. Oh, this is how we've been doing it. Mm. This, uh, 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 uh. You must be very, very daring. So, you know, I'm going to challenge the constitution. I'm going to mm. challenge the status quo. Mm. I'm going to say, this is how we've been doing it, but we're going to choose to do it this way. So you must be daring in this country. If you're not daring, you're not going to get anywhere in this country. Number two, you must be vulnerable. I think mm. you said it in different ways. Yeah. Well, you see, I, I, Governor Sonwolu tried to do it a few times where he went to ap appeal. Mm. When you do wrong, ap ac 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 accept it and acknowledge mm. it. When you also do well, we'll celebrate you, but be vulnerable. When you goof, accept your goof. Mm. This yeah. one, no, I goofed. Mm. And, and, and own it, just like Kamaram said earlier. And then you need a strong heart. Mm. One red major recipe, if your heart no strong, Forget don't try leadership in Nigeria. Mm. You must be strong and say that there are things that you just have to be very, very strong about. And don't look left, don't look right. Know that you are taking us on a journey. Mm. It might be painful, but it is a journey that we must pass through. Yeah. And just like she said, don't walk the talk. So yeah. if you are taking on this journey, and we see that you see, you see, also eat, you're only eating, drinking, drinking Gary, mm -hmm. we'll drink Gary with you. With yes. Or Come don't go and be eating uh, bacon chicken. and chicken and, and ask us to be drinking Gary. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So please always try to. So that's um, so my recipe for. Four recipes. And we're done. <laughs> we're Fantastic. No, so, amazing <laughs> soup. Amazing <laughs> soup. Mm. With, with this nice soup, <laughs> trust me, <laughs> Nigeria <laughs> will be a better, better country to nice. eat. Yes. Let's go on a break. When we come back, we'll talk about a real story for Thursday. Stay with us. We'll be right back.